So what did we aim glycolysis with? Two pyruvates. Uh -huh. So let's just focus on the one pyruvate, and then we can just times everything by two, right? Yes. Since we have two of them. Mm -hmm. So this is our acetyl-CoA formation. What does acetyl-CoA look like? It's two carbons. Two carbons. So we want to go from our pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. How do we do that? It's one yeah. step. You need to, I can't remember if you add a CO2, a carbon dioxide. Okay. We're actually going to take you off this to make CO2. <coughs> oh, OK. So do you remember our cellular, cellular respiration mm -hmm. formula? What was that? Let's write it at the bottom. C6. C6, there we go. H12, O7. Oh, O7? Oh, six. Okay. Six. Two, six, CO2, right? Or what do we breathe? H2O. Oxygen. C2O2. C2O2. Oh. Oh. So this is what we basically intake into our body, what we eat, and then this part of the equation is going to be what we get from it. So this is our breakfast that we eat. So marshmallow, marshmallow maize. <laughs> marshmallow. Is it maize cheese? I think it's wild. Yeah. Marshmallows. <laughs> Plus what we breathe, oxygen. And what do we get? Six carbon dioxide and six H2O in energy. Plus how many energy? So this is the process of cellular, cellular respiration. We need, we're ar we already are starting to produce ATP, right? So during glycolysis, we got two ATP. So we can minus that. Now we're only looking for 36, So right? when that bumps off, does it like combine with oxygen? Uh -huh. So that's how we get the CO2? Yep. So we're going to get our oxygen. oxygen. Plus, we're going to take off a carbon. So that's right there's just the CO CoA formation. Or we're going to have one more step, though. Okay. What do we input? First, put it in. Oh, NAD. NAD. And what does that give us? So when we do this, we're going to go from three carbons to two carbons. That one carbon is going to lead to form CO2. Okay, so from acetyl CoA formation, what do we get from it? If we were to write everything that we gain, remember one we had two pyruvates, we're going to have everything by two. Oh, two CO2s. We had two, two CO2s. And two NADH. And that's it. Okay. And? Oh, and two CO2s. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do is take pyruvate, which is three carbons, and turn it into a two carbon molecule called acetyl CoA. And to do that, we're just going to input some NAD, and then we're going to transmit that over to NADH2. While we do that, we're taking off this carbon. That carbon is just going to go to form CO2 going to combine with some oxygen. And we need how many carbons at the end of this entire cycle? Six. So now we at least have two. two. Now we only need four more later in our metabolism. Does that make sense? 